Welcome to episode 1414 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to continue on and echo the thoughts from the previous one, from episode 1413. I want to share with you this gift that feedback is. Because if you're anything like me or how I grew up, you may have had this thing in your mind that you have to be perfect to be accepted. And it doesn't have to be those exact words, but maybe something inside of you as you heard that you, you felt that whatever it is might have been the pit in your stomach. It might have been like a little bit of the, the anvil, the cement on your feet of this thing weighing me down. This pressure, right? This contraction of energy, of focus in order to win the approval or supposed approval of others. We, and I say we, but mean and me. We needed to be perfect. We needed to have all the answers. We had needed to excel. We needed to be the creme de la creme, top of the top. And that's not always possible. Because getting to that point means you're going to be the one who more than likely makes the most mistakes, who gets the most things wrong, who and who just has the most challenges and struggles and the, the most obstacles. And it's not about achieving for the, for the, for the fact of, of bragging and boasting of being number one, being the best, whatever it is in your area. In this case, I'm going to be the best speaker. I want to be the best coach. Not because I'm combative against anybody else. Not because like, oh man, because he's, he's ranked this way, then I'm going to usurp him or I'm going to go Tanya Harden and, and sabotage and get violent. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm competitive and I like to see where I'm at against others, not as a comparison, but as a measuring stick, as a gauge of, all right, I'm in range. I'm I'm right where I want to be. And feedback is such a beautiful gift to get there because there's that, this place, there's this, (laughs) there's this room of here. I think I'm really doing well. And here are the outside objective voices of here's what can be improved and if I'm, if you're looking at it that way what can i improve not what's wrong with me not what i failed at not what i screwed up at not what i'm what's wrong with me what i'm deficient at it's okay this is what's this is where i can st- can strengthen this is where i can improve maybe there's somebody in my network who's really skilled and this can help me Right? This this gets the creative centers working. So let it be that. Let it be a creative mold for you to figure out the next game you want to play. All that said and done, remember that you are born to live your life in abundance. You are the master of your future. You control your freedom. And you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.